Well, now I'd like to give you a brief tour of some key specifications for NIMIDAC. Please refer to the full user guide and specifications for complete information. You'll find the link at ni.com slash MIDAC. All right, in terms of the signal connections and power supplies, let's begin with the analog outputs. We have a pair of analog outputs. These have a plus minus 10 volt range, two milliamp maximum current drive, 200 kilo samples per second sampling rate, and 16 bit resolution. These inputs are DC coupled, and they have a one ohm output impedance. The analog inputs are located right here. These inputs have a plus minus 10 volt range. They are uh, limited to plus minus 10 volts, so make sure you do not exceed that, range, that voltage range. 200 kilo samples per second sampling rate, 16 bit resolution, DC coupled, and they have in excess of 10 giga ohms for in input impedance. Now here we have stereo audio output. Therefore we have two stereo channels left and right, 200 kilo samples per second sampling rate and 16 bit resolution. We have a plus minus two volt range for the output and this would be considered line level type signal. It's also AC coupled and it has a 120 ohm output impedance. It requires at least eight ohms for the minimum load impedance. So for example, earbuds typically are 32 ohms, so they work just fine. Also, the audio output has two milliamps for the maximum drive current. Now, the audio output and the analog output basically share the same converter internally. So you can use one or the other of these, but not both. So you either have two analog channels to work with or left or right audio output, but you have to, to pick which of those you're actually gonna use. Moving on to the audio input. Again, we have stereo, two stereo channels left and right. 200 kilo samples per second sampling rate, 16 bit resolution, and again line level, so that's plus minus two volt range. The audio input is AC coupled, and that uh, kind of complements the behavior of the audio output. Now, moving on to the digital I.O., or digital inputs and outputs. We have a total of eight. When the uh, connection is set to output mode, it's 3.3 volts, low voltage TTL. That's the standard that's being used. So the 0-5 is really referring to the input mode. So again, for output, it's either generating zero volts or 3.3 volts. In output mode, we have four milliamps maximum current drive for each line. Now for input mode, it's ex still expecting the same standard. That is, it wants to see zero to 3.3 volts. The inputs, however, are uh, five volt tolerant. And so that's what the indicator means, the zero, zero to five. All right, moving on to the power supplies. We have the five volt supply. This is perhaps the uh, uh, highest capacity supply. It has 100 milli milliamps maximum current. And at that maximum load, the voltage will drop to four volts. We have the dual supply over here, plus minus 15 volts. These have a little bit less drive current. We can get 32 milliamps maximum current for each. And then we end up with plus minus 14 volts at maximum load. All 
Now altogether, we have 500 milliwatts available from all outputs. That would mean the power supplies, the signal outputs, everything altogether, we don't get more than 500 milliwatts total. Now, do not mix power from NIMI DAC and other power supplies. And I'll show you what I mean by that. For example, if you're connecting MIDAC to other uh, circuits and other systems that have their own power supply, you will need to establish connections generally between the grounds of MIDAC and the other system. But when you do so, do not connect the plus minus 15 volts and 5 volt outputs from MIDAC. All right, let's wrap things up by looking at the digital multimeter connections. That's a DMM for short. As always, pay attention to the printed indicators that tell you the limits of operation. 60 volts DC and 20 millivolts RMS. These are the maximum values that you should ever apply to MIDAC. MIDAC is a category one measurement type of device, so you must not exceed these voltages. Now when you're using the voltmeter side of the DMM, we have 10 mega ohms for the input impedance. When you're using the current meter, again observe the limit here, do not exceed one, uh, excuse me, one amp for current. Internally, MIDAC is protected by a 1.25 amp fuse.